Okay, this is the tiny home located in Holiday, Utah, which is right in the middle of Salt Lake City. Just a little tour on the exterior. Down below, you have everything down here regarding your RV hookups. You have your sewage drain, your clear outs, your water entrance and exit, and your gas line. Also with a nice regulator, which is standard and custom made specifically for travel. On the exterior, you have external lights, which are operated from inside. A double reinforced axle. Moving around to the back, where is the entrance of the tiny home. Again, with more lights. The power source is on this side of the building, which enters right here, which feeds up into the main cab. Um, panel behind this wall. Again, more external lights. All right, I did make sure to include all of the balance supports, which are added on extra, the leveler system. And then just to finish off the exterior with the automatic jack. So it makes it easier to load and unload. The interior of the home we're going to enter. It's kind of a step up into the tiny home. We have all of the screens ready to put into the windows. I just needed to clean them. We have a fold out futon bed, which will sleep to pretty comfortably. Everything is included in this tiny home, including the, all the window, window coverings, brand new TV, this tiny home has never been lived in. We have a ladder leading, leading up into the dormer, a three burner stove. Underneath the cabinets or in, underneath the stove, we have the water heater with easy access clean outs and turning on the system just to make sure if you're not living in it full time, how to clear it out. A full size sink, butcher block cabinets, little wine rack, Underneath the sink, lots of storage. Again, easy access to turn on and off your water lines. This tiny house is unique where it is full and standard size kitchen cabinets. All right, we have a three quarter bathroom. The full shower disconnecting head. And all drains out of those water lines. A small, cute little sink. Standard toilet. Medicine cabinet. An air conditioner unit is included, but this space is also big enough to hold a washer dryer system. Unfortunately, it's not installed yet for that outlet, but there's outlets behind the fridge. We have an apartment size refrigerator. Again, nothing's ever been used in this, in this tiny home. We have a storage loft or another, um, it'll fit actually a twin mattress up there, up that loft. We have your electrical panel. Everything's clearly labeled on, on, on what every line goes to. Here's your, all of your controls for your exterior lighting. Let's go up to the loft. Every window, with the exception of the window up in the queen area, this is a full queen size bed with some room to spare. All right, all the dormer windows open, creating a nice cool breeze. Plenty of storage again. A ceiling fan. All right, this ladder that I climb up on can be transitioned to the other side. It's got the handles. All you need to do is lift up that ladder, which attaches onto these rods and transition it over to that rod over there. Again, everything is fully insulated extremely well. This property was supposed to withstand all the temperatures of Northern Utah, which has a very severe climate. Um, all of the receipts or a lot of the receipts in building this tiny home will be included into, uh, just so you know what happened, 
all of the electrical, plumbing, and some of the finish work was all done by licensed contractors. Everything has been checked and run and everything is ready to go. Make this your tiny home. It is just gorgeous.